So one of the coolest things about Jaguar cats is that they're hydrodynamically designed as well as aerodynamic. So what that means is uh, you have air assist going under the tunnel that creates lift, but you also have hydrodynamic lift, that, which are the, the pads underneath the boat. So what dad did was when he was building these things, he found a way to get a radius in the tunnel to not create any friction with the air. So what makes it unique for a fishing application is that it starts from a peak and it has a, an abrupt change in the tunnel and then it's level all the way back and it's a lower profile tunnel. A lot of the new race boats, they have a higher profile tunnel, including our design, you know, the, the 47 Jaguar that, we, uh, that was designed by Michael Peters. It has a higher profile tunnel for more air assist. So in a fishing application, that doesn't do you any good because the tunnel being higher cuts off so much room for, uh, for the inner liner and for all the things that you need to, to fish. So that's one very unique thing about this hull. The other one is, is that Dad, when he built it, he put a, an anti-stuffing angle in the front tunnel. So if this boat were to go up and hit the water at an angle where it was going to go like it was going to submerge and stuff, it would come out and it would actually ride itself out of the stuff and come back out. A uh, huge component when we were building them as race boats, it actually um, helps a lot in fishing applications, especially when you're going through seas that are six foot and greater. So this thing runs like a V-bottom in many seas, but it has the benefits of a catamaran. Once you say catamaran to most consumers, they're like, oh, you know, they're squirrely, they're a little flighty, and they don't want to give up their V-bottom. Every person who's ridden in a Jaguar that's been able to afford a Jaguar has purchased one. And that's a true statement. Going back to the first open fisherman, he went in our prototype with a handheld GPS. And when he saw the numbers, he said, okay, I'm in. And he made a deposit on his own boat. So, but the reason why that is, is because it has the benefits of both. The benefits of a V-bottom and using a hydrodynamic lift that the, bo that the boat's still in the water. And also some air assist to get some of the, some of the uh, benefits of the cat where you're skimming across the boat. It's also what makes this boat so fuel efficient. So it has step bottoms, everything else that high performance power boats have, but the tunnel, the air assist from the tunnel, we don't have any hard angles. This is an absolute pain in the ass when we're building the boat in the mold because it's a radius. So you have to do it literally inch by inch to come across this with all core. This boat has core inch to inch, like every square inch, all the way from top to bottom when you're building this every inch of this boat has core cell or air x or something depending on when the boat was built but it's a closed cell linear foam it absorbs one percent of its weight in water for the life of the boat so that's why we end up repainting a lot of these boats and selling them to new clients because these damn things never die and it's a good thing for the consumer maybe not so good for us as builders but we'll worry about that problem at a different time it's much more important for us to not sacrifice how we build them because of the speeds that they run and the families that purchase these boats. I don't think I would ever be able to sleep well at night knowing that I compromised something in the integrity of a, of a, of a hull and it caused somebody to become uh, severely injured or deceased. I mean, it's just not something that, that I want in, on my conscience and that's why these things are built the way they are.